She hooked it right by those rocks and it has towed him all the way out to here. It's still pulling drag. It's kind of fighting straight down now, but every time he gains a little bit of line, it takes it right back out. We're not sure what this is, but it's something big. And it ain't done yet. Wow. We're about 30 minutes in the fight and this thing does not seem that tired. <laughs> Might be here for a bit. I ditched the corporate grind to pursue my passions for fishing and travel. Now I serve as a guest guide at Los Buzos Resort, where I help kayak anglers figure out one of the most epic fisheries on the planet. You're watching Field Trips with Robert that Field. Is a fish, bro! Pio, el gris de nosotros o tú tienes eso. Seguro. Hey Rob, you want to grab something? No. Sure. We're done, I think. I don't know who these are. Probably. Adam, is this yours with this tandem? Yeah. Which boat are you in? Oh yeah, right this one. All right, we're getting the kayaks loaded in the pangas. Heading to the far spot today. Here, here, here. I got it. I'll get it. Yeah, just in case something breaks. Yeah. Just trying to go slow. Every time we go fast, it lands on something, breaks it. It's gonna break the seat. No, 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 no. Arriba, arriba, arriba. Yeah. We did it. Do you have a cooler in your boat? Well, let me take all my shit out of there. Got it. Well, yeah, you're darling. Let's see the way to come Here, take that. I'm out there. Where'd you leave? No, I got my yak in that one. It doesn't oh, no, then just go in that one. Yeah. yeah. Listo. See? Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Oh. Ah, sí. Let's do it, boys. Another day in the life. Alright, we just got here to Patricio to the, the far spot, the mothership trip. Dropping the kayaks in now. And these guys will be fishing. Then we'll be running around trying to find them some bait. This place is legendary. Could be a day these guys will never forget. We'll see what happens. Look, like you see all those birds? Those little birds? There's something serious under them. I don't know why this is. See? Better pick though. Squirrely out here. A little bit. It's okay. Well, that, we can secured? we can get uh no no. You can get out of the wind like over on this side of the point, you know. Yeah. Um, there's good fishing over there too. All around here is a good area. Like this is this area brings stuff in. It's just broomtail and cubera that are gonna be like on the rocks. Like the albacos, the roosterfish, the sailfish, the mahi, the tuna. They're just cruising around the area. You know? Oh. Shit. Uh, good to go? Yep, just nice and easy. And just try to keep your center of gravity centered. Yeah. Oh, sh it's okay. They float. Don't roundhouse kick the. Yeah. Is that in? Yeah. Yes. 
soy un profesional, amigo. Claro. Hey, qué bonito, tú grande. All right, just dropped the jig down one time. We got two bonitas out, and on the way down, it got hit and started taking off with it. Saw the bail open and uh, just started taking off real fast all of a sudden. It feels like a decent sized bonita or a small tuna. Creo que atún, amigo. Thinking it's a tuna. Atun. Tuna. Yellowfin tuna. Nice. Boys, I just dropped the jig down one time. It got hit on the way down. Just pulled up a, a decent yellowfin. What was that? Who was the fish on? I said somebody put that on for me. Uh, it's bleeding bad. No. no. <laughs> yeah, we got excited. It wasn't hooked very well. We gapped it. But I got another. Ah. Okay, no. Yellowfin tuna on the catch jig. First drop. Hit it on the way down. I love this thing. It's got great action, even when it's just falling. It looks like a like a squid or something. That'll be dinner tonight. Not bad for one drop of the jig so far today. Yellow and tuna in the boat. Got a little blood. A little blood in the face. They're bloody fish. There's blood and everything. We're not kidding. Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and bleed this guy. It's the best way to bleed these guys. You literally just rip their gills out. It's the easiest way. You don't need a knife or anything. Just rip their gills out. These things are full of arteries. And you just let it pour out of it. Gonna keep the meat nice and clean. Gets rid of some of that bloody, kind of gamey taste if you leave too much blood in them. Just gonna wait till the water starts running clear. And that's good to go. Pio's using the Panamanian bilge pump. So we got a bunch of these little small birds. The locals call them pajaritos, which is just literally means small bird, but uh, I call them tuna birds. Cause usually when these birds are around, they eat these little baby glass minnow looking type baits. And so do the tuna, even big tuna. They gobble up these tiny little sardines. They call them sardinitas. I don't know what they are, but small little glass minnow type things. You, you pull up a 40 pound tuna here and they're, they're coughing up bait that small. Anytime those guys are around, we usually have tuna. And sure enough, my first drop with the jig today, a tuna hit it on the way down, so they're a really good sign. We're telling the clients, follow those guys around. If they start diving, they're eating those little things, and the only reason they're getting on those baits is because something's pushing them up from below. And everything will eat them from tuna, sailfish, whales, you name it. Lots of life out here today. We're just waiting for the bite to turn on, but it's slack tide, low tide right now. It's about to be the beginning of the incoming, which I always love around here, so may heat up real quick here in a sec. See what happens. Those are devil rays, probably. Oh my god. Ay, agarrando bonito, lo que te gusta. Got a fish on. Ooh. No, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, wow, 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 wow. He's saying wow, I've never caught one in my life. But he's running fast and strong. Uh, it's a jack. Oh, yeah. Emotional. That was exciting. You. I know. Un diablo amarillo. Un diablo amarillo. <laughs> we were pretty sure it was a wahoo, bro. The way it hit and the way it was running, <laughs> it is not. <laughs> that is not a wahoo. <laughs> Divertido. That's fun, though. It was exciting, thinking it might be. 
And we're actually gonna keep this guy for uh, P.O.'s sister. He says she wants some, some fish, so they eat these guys around here and we got tons of them. They're, they're out here in force, so we're gonna go ahead and keep them. Woo! Big old Diablo Amarillo here for Zach from Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts. Big old boy on the diver, huh? That's fun on artificial. Man, he's thick. That's a good one, bro. Great fish. Nicely done. Whenever you're ready. Woo! Nice work. All right, we got Andy here, flying through the wind. Controlled the deep diver, got hooked up. Andy's been on fire ever since he got here. You're getting worked, aren't you? I see color, I see color. Big fish, big fish, what is it? Jackraval. Here you go. Good job. Nice. Yeah. All right, good job. All right, Phil here's hooked up. Says Jack on the diver. Diablo Amarillo, an old yellow devil. Super strong fish. And they're out here mixed in with these tuna we're seeing. Just got out here, so we'll see what else is around. Nice work. You. I'd keep trolling that man. These tuna will hit, keep hitting it for sure. Here we go, baby. Boys hooked up. Going on a sleigh ride. They hit that bonita head. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> All right, boys. Here's hooked up. He's already got a couple roosters. Hooked up some big. He had something kill his bonita. Half of it died. Half of it was gone. We told him just drive it right back down the reef. Drop the Benita head down and he's hooked up big, something big, it's pulling him. He's getting towed out to sea, ladies and gents. Old man in the sea. Well, then we'll see it on the other lado. Careful. Porque yo soy también no puedo hacer video porque ellos están enfrente. Voice is getting towed around by something big right now. This could be a gigantic rooster, it could be a big Amaco Jack. Just gotta wear it out. Don't, uh, I wouldn't tighten your drag, I wouldn't do anything. Just let him tow you around and kind of gain some ground whenever he slacks up. But... Boy's getting towed around. He's got the rod on his knee to kind of save some energy. Smart tactic. This is a heavy, heavy fish, y'all. Something heavy. It's not a fish you're gonna be able to horse up, so just keep at it, keep pressure on him. Still pulling, look at that. <laughs> Boys is cramping up a little bit. Welcome to Los Buzos, baby. Same crappie fishing. <laughs> she hooked it right by those rocks and it has towed him all the way out to here. It's still pulling drag. It's kind of fighting straight down now, but every time he gains a little bit of line, it takes it right back out. We're not sure what this is, but it's something big. It's something heavy and it ain't done yet. Wow, wow. We're about 30 minutes in the fight and this thing does not seem that tired. <laughs> Might be here for a bit. Wow, this thing almost just about, about pulled him overboard. This is deep into the fight. He's towed him over a half mile easy and uh, it's still, still ripping line out when it wants to. I mean, I mean, <laughs> he's over here rehydrating while he's fighting a monster from a kayak. I mean, it could even, we've even had sailfish that just didn't jump. They just, they just dug the whole time. Never really know. We don't catch many big sharks, but very, very rarely, but never know. But it's, it is a big fish, whatever it is. Something real heavy. Tiburon Grande. Ah, uh, it's a big shark. That is not common around here. But it's the ocean, you never know. Big shark, he said. Wow. Want me to grab it? Ah, and there it goes. That counts, bro. That's a catch. What a fit. That was a big shark, man. Could you, could you tell a kind? Bull? Think it was a bull? You never know. I saw the color. I saw the color, that was big, bro. Well, we do not catch big sharks here often. In fact, almost never, but 
Uh, we did have a hammerhead caught last week at this exact location, and we didn't get a good look at that. It bit him off right under the boat, but that was a big shark, like eight foot. That's very abnormal for here, but you know, it's the ocean, you never know. They're around. But hey, a little excitement for the day. Got a little sleigh ride. Now they're picking him up, putting him back in the boat, and they're gonna take him back to the spot so he doesn't have to pedal all the way back. And we're gonna get back to catching bait and helping the other clients. Hey, we see a bunch of these little birds over there. We're gonna go look. Cause, cause if it's going, Adam's got water too. But we'll be right back. But if there's a bunch of fish over there, the current's ripping them that way. So we could just go and bring them back. No, see, see, va, no. Espérate. Espérate. Nice, we got Zach here from Massachusetts. The nice yellow been tuning in the boat. Hell yeah. Yeah, baby. Yee yee. They're around, is that on the diver? Nice. <laughs> Little bullets, man, they're so fast. Yeah, they might stop you at customs. Whose blood is all this? Nice, bro, we'll come pick it up. All right, set for a Kubera. See it. Nice, Phil here. First yellow fin tuna in the morning. I have not been out here very long. Beautiful fish, man, on the diver, huh? That's a good one, man. Gotta get some more, man. If there's one around, there are lots around. I ain't got bait. Just saw a single bonita jump out of the water and cast one time, and there it is. Hey, you guys right here by me, and you guys want a bonita? Mira. Okay. Okay. Not bonita. No, bonita. A bonita or a fin? No, amigo. It's okay. not tuna. All right, so it's not a bonita, it's a tuna. Oh! Do you want to use it for bait or? Nah, it's fine. Okay. I was going to say, I was like, wow, que fuerte es. Buenísimo. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Nice tuna, baby. Where? Hey, you got ice on board? Uh, I'll take him from you and I'll, put, I'll give him to Robert. He has a bag of, he has a cooler. What'd you get him on? Nice. He dirtied up your shirt a little bit. <laughs> All right, I'll grab from you one sec. Look at that. All right, in the time of lull, we kept jigging, send him back in. I saw one fish jump out of the water. I made one cast with the XPS jig and immediately caught a yellowfin tuna. So keep your eyes open. They're hitting the diver, they're hitting the XPS jig. Look at this right here. We got a big bait ball of squid right under the surface and we just saw two flashes, two fish running through it. Look at that. Got him. Yep. I'm on on the drop. Yeah. We're both on fish. We're both hooked up. All right, we're doubled up. Hey, Rory, you think you can snag some of those squids? No need, we both just cast a jig into it and we're doubled up right now. There's fish running through them, crashing through them. Nice. Oh, yeah. All right, we just came up. Chad called out that he saw a school of squid. And sure enough, we came up on it. It's got a big red bait ball right on the surface. We both cast a jig into it. We're both hooked up. I don't know what this is. Could be a jack. Could be anything. Good. We'll see by the jack. Never seen squid out here like that, bait like that. My first time ever seeing something like that, and sure enough, I was telling the clients about it, just I thought it was something kind of interesting, and then we saw big silver flashes crashing through it right on the surface, and we both cast out, and I actually cast out, was still letting it drop, and it was already on. We thrashed on the surface, I sold my bail open, didn't even realize what was happening. He bit me this pretty much the second I hit the water. It's coming up now, I think it's probably a jack. Jack. Ah, you say, boy. Big old Jack. Got me. Nice. Nice Jack. On that same catch jig. It looks like a squid when you're swimming it. And he, uh, he annihilated it. Eww. Nice. Beauty. Off he goes. Oof. 
some action though. That was cool. I've never seen squid like that out here. What'd you get a hit on a jack? All right, we put a live jack and he was just on the edge of this murky water and clear water. Something picked it up. We're fishing right here off of uh, Portobello. What is it gonna be? As you can see, this is the dirty water meeting the cleaner water. Still pretty murky. Uh -oh, oh, we got a Kubera apparently. You can see. Kubera. Kubera. Ooh. Kubera. Big Kubera. This guy's catching everything out here. Had some big mahis earlier. Damn. Use the jig to get the bait down, looks like. Oh, man. Nice. Nice one. Dude. Yeah. yeah. What a beast. Oh, man. Look at that. Epic Kubera, dude. Epic. Amazing job, man. Where'd the beach go? Oh. Wow, that was cool. yeah. The beach is gone. This is 18 to 20 foot tides. When we left, we were launching like 30 yards that way. And now the beach is literally gone. Oh, that was a quick stop. Yeah. <laughs> wow, look at that. It's almost connected to the river. It is connected to the river. Hey, watch the trailer. Um, if y'all want to start grabbing rods. Oh, I thought we were going up higher. All right, yeah. We're not going up higher? No, we'll be okay. We can get it from here. I'm going to start grabbing stuff in between sets, but I got to help them hold the back. It doesn't matter who's who's, you know, just... Yeah, sure, sure, if you can. Yeah. But just grab however many you can, so we do. Yo puedo. Yo no puedo, yo tengo, yo tengo. What's up, bro? Want me to get that for you? <laughs> getting tired? <laughs> My nipples hurt. Uh, I, I can hear you breathing hard. I mean, I can get that. What, you on day and night, man? Like with the bed in five minutes like yesterday. Are you sure about that? You are? Yeah, yeah. Ah. Ah. Otra vez. <laughs> there we go, there we go. See? Yeah? Yeah? Turn around. If at first you don't succeed, try doing what your guide told you to do in the first I place. Tell you. <laughs> Good day. That was sick out there. Yeah, man. It was different out there today. Zero blue runners, too. I don't know why. <laughs> that trick works for tuna, too, I think. 
good thing we caught these fish, otherwise we'd have chicken tonight. Yep, that's the rule. Got Dennis here, filleting some tuna. This is about time, bro. No one's grading you. Using the Gerber controller again. Get it done on this big tuna. It's a big hunk of meat, bro. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for cleaning me, man. The middle is rare. And then the sauce back there, definitely get the sauce. It's like a super punchy Dijon and caper aioli. Oh, it's like really good for dipping those little oh, holes. Wow. You know, just like y'all make at home. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. 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 Chicken nuggets is what <laughs> <laughs> Microwave chicken nuggets. Yeah. Sorry, no food left. We can't have any. <laughs> Oh, the ZBB and J, it's fine. <laughs> again. And once again, another incredible day fishing here at Los Buzos Resort. We're about halfway through the week now. They're really figuring this place out, figuring out this fishery, figuring out these bites. If you guys want to come out here and do this, go to losbuzos.com for all the information. Or if you want to fast track that process, send an email to info at losbuzos.com. But that's it for now. As always, guys, if you enjoy this content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Lots more Field Trips Panama on the way. See you guys.